Oh. So now, Peyton, both of you received, um, which I'd never even heard of this term, altruistic donors. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? Um, I mean, literally a complete stranger just gave me her uterus and same with Kayla. I didn't, the day of my surgery, I didn't know her name. She didn't know my name. We knew absolutely nothing about each other and she went back. And so this is a woman who says, I want to donate my uterus to mm -hmm. strangers. Yes. Mm -hmm. Do they have to match your blood type? Is it like a kidney or another yeah. organ donation? Yeah, they go through just as intense screening process as we do. I mean, they had to be, they had to, have all the blood draws, all the health exams. They even had to go through like a psychological exam. We had to do the same thing. So it was just as intense for them. And I think my donor's surgery was like eight to nine hours. I mean. With a 12 inch scar. Yeah, so. And this is all because they want to help another woman. That they don't even know. That they yeah. don't even know. What has she brought to your life? Uh, just pure joy. I mean, I feel like I've witnessed a miracle, as cliche as that sounds. I mean, I just, I never thought I would meet her. And so many people discouraged me from even ever trying to have her and just, you know, accept it. This is it. This is, you know, it's not the end of the world. And so it's like, I look at her and it's like, I fought so hard for her. And I just hope she knows that she was so wanted. <laughs> look at those cheeks. Oh my gosh. Ah, well, joining us in Cyber Hall is one of the groundbreaking doctors who brought Indy and Emerson into the world, Dr. Lisa Johansson. Um, doctor, thank you so much for joining us. One thank of you. only a, a few surgeons doing this. Take us through the short version, because we're not all going to go to medical school, mm -hmm. but take us through um, the layman's version of how this works. Yeah, so basically a uterus transplant is when you have a female that is born without uterus or have lost their uterus and still wants to go through a pregnancy and childbirth. And that then we can, through surgery, take a uterus from a living or deceased donor and transplant that into this female. And after the transplant, you go through the IVF, you become pregnant, and then you can deliver a child like Kayla and Peyton. So you have seven more pregnancies in the clinical trial, so there could be yeah. new moms soon here. One of the things that I learned um, in reading about what you've done here is that the uterus, though, only remains in the body for five years. Is that accurate? Yeah, it is. So the Baylor trial uh, allows for one or two pregnancies. And we want those pregnancies to be fairly short together or close together. And the reason for that is that we want to remove the uterus and take away the immunosuppressive medicine that the mother needs to be on. How dangerous is this for the mom or the woman who well, wants to be a mother? Yes, so I would say that the immunosuppression is the thing that can give you long-term effects. But we know that if you only have it through a short time of your life, it doesn't give those effects. So, and it's not dangerous for the child. Looking at where we are now medically, I know that Kayla said, you know, we, the cliche of miracles, you know, we use that. And I know doctors have a hard time with that word as well some, in some cases. But how do you describe where we are um, that two women born without a uterus mm. are able to have two babies now in their hands and you're working mm. on more. How do you describe this? No, I think, I mean, how I would use the same word. It is a miracle. Mm. And we never thought it. I started working with this a decade. Yeah. Well, um... um Go ahead, I'm sorry. I started working for this a decade ago, and I would never have thought that this moment would have been there, that where we can actually have these babies in our arms. Oh. And you can't describe it to anything else a miracle. Well, doctor, we have them here. I don't like when people ask me if I want another child, because I'm like, let my C-section <laughs> scar heal first. Mm -hmm. But um, obviously people are curious, given that you have this window with yes. this uterus in your body, any consideration on having are trying it again. Yeah, um, she was our last embryo. We had to go through four different transfers to get her, um, but we hope to go through IVF again and try one more time. We're considering it. Considering. <laughs> we, we, we're able to, but we're not. Sure. Say no more. <laughs>